What's up, shooters? My name is Logan AK, Spider Hands, and welcome to Inspire Reviews, where today we're going to be checking out a track by an artist named Andrew Carlson titled Peach Soda. I'm going to switch over to here to SoundCloud where we have the track. There's some really cool art. Like, I really dig this. That, that image is really cute. It's really relevant to the title, and I'm assuming that it's relevant to the song as well. So that's awesome. And this is an indie track, apparently. So we're going to listen to this track, Peach Soda, from start to finish. Just going to make sure I got my headphones recording. Nope, I don't. Should be good now. We're going to listen to it from start to finish, and we're going to hear what we think. Cool. I wasn't sure if my headphones were actually connected or not for a moment. I've just realized this track is seven, seven and a half minutes, so this will be interesting. Hopefully it's good. You can tell by the waveform that there's dynamic range to this, which I really appreciate. Really important. Nice little bit of uh, organic interaction occurring here. I'm always a fan of that. Nothing depresses me more than seeing an artist with like 10,000 views and like a thousand likes and no comments on their song. I'm liking the subtle work with those sequences, the drums. It's kind of... Oh? I'm liking, obviously this guy knows how to put a vocal melody over a harmony, that's good. Like it's been mastered quite well, but there's so much range. It's fascinating, dude. I'm trying to figure out what these spikes are. I know that this isn't necessarily a degree of the loudness of a track, but like, is there like a bass resonance or something in there? It doesn't really sound like it. I mean, the kick was very sort of assertive, but that's okay. But this slight pan, this automation in terms of the volume is really, really dope. Is that an electric bass being played there? If so, that's pretty cool. I like that. A little bit of a riser there. Yeah, like, I'll be honest, the vocal work is gorgeous. I'm, I'm not sure if it's a little bit quiet in the mix. No, I think the kick's just been sidechained. There's a beautiful texture to the way that the, the, the multiple singer, the, the singing takes have been done in this mix. This percussion work is really dope. I'm not sure if he's used a drum machine or if he's playing the electric drums in this or something like that. But either way, it's, a lot, it's really nice. Because of the range and the dips and kind of builds and the levels of the like overall energy and like the volume and the filter work and everything like that and the automation, it's like interesting to listen to. 
even if it's like not kind of there's there's space there's room to breathe It's like a little bit of chorus or something in those vocals. They kind of glisten, don't they? There's like, there are a few different instruments involved here. You've got like some vocal kind of um, cuts you've got. Obviously some pad work, a few different melodic synths of various textures. You've got the kick and the, and the bass. It doesn't feel like four and a half minutes, put it that way. Like dreaming queen don't let go this one time i'll think of me oh no it was dreaming queen Don't get let go this one time. Is this like a love song? Like earlier on, I taught, I heard a, heard her describing how this person's the view on the beach and like a dip in the pool or something like that. It's refreshing. Is, is that it? Is this person the, the sort of like the spice in their life, the thing that kind of keeps them going, the thing that keeps them alive? Has this song been written for someone? I kind of get that vibe about it. Damn, man, this is like pretty, pretty impressive because like, this is really gentle on the arrows. It's interesting, like it feels like it's as loud as a lot of tracks I sort of review, but like, it's not as in your face. I can't tell whether there's some resonances that I'm not picking up accurately or if it's just because everything's kind of been compressed to a certain amount or if there's been maximization done. But again, like, I think my favorite part about this track is that it is just so gentle and so caring and so loving. There's so much sort of humanity in there. It's There's also a sort of a sense of there being sort of a je ne sais quoi about it. I don't entirely know what... There are parts of this I don't understand from a production standpoint like I, I i still i would need to sort of think on this track for a while to really understand why i adore this so much and why it can be compelled for seven minutes 20 you know like the, the thing is like even as a reviewer occasionally i will like get bored so i'll just zone out right i'll i i have zoned out in two or three minute tracks because especially when it's very the music is very, very similar to a lot of the stuff i listen to but I can't really say this about this one. Like, don't get me wrong. I, I listen, I've listened to a fair bit of indie music throughout these reviews. But this is unique. I really enjoy what Andrew Carlson has managed to put forward on this. I think that there was a lot of care taken to kind of stage this track correctly. He took his time with his delivery of the messages within it. The verse and chorus parts were as sort of bold, bold and as like pervasive as they needed to be without being offensive. It was, it was gorgeous. Really really phenomenal songwriting and, and music production it's really it's really great i get the impression that this guy, this guy is going to go places i really hope so it'd be good to know more about how this track was made 
like in terms of the post-production end. The the vocal performance itself was stunning. Again, I know I've said gentle a few times. There was like a sort of an ex- sense of an acceptance of a gentle sort of optimism and like again sort of a caring kind of uh, personality to it all, and I I adore that. I really adore that. Andrew's got away with his words and it came through really strongly here. That That's effectively my review of Peach Soda, though. I don't really know what else to say about this. I don't know how he could really improve it. Sometimes, yeah, I just, this is one of those tracks that shows that you don't need to bother with the loudness war music. You can have it, you can have range and it can be pleasurable. I mean, it's seven and a half minutes. It might be a little bit difficult to get this kind of track onto like a playlist on Spotify or something like that. But then again, at the same time, I think that this format is what Andrew needed to deliver the message in a way he wanted to. And again, Andrew is good enough to make this length of time seem like three and a half minutes as well. You don't need to necessarily have do every, put everything into two to three minutes for it to sound good. I would like to see more Andrew Carlson does in the future. Whether, you know, this could have even been a, a multi-part thing, but Peach Soda was strong. And I, yeah, I, I would be interested to see what Andrew did. Uh, through like a you know through a um where am i going with this through like an ep or an album i think it'd be really cool to see where that goes it's just fascinating to be a part of this beautiful future of music where stuff like this comes out and people are making new things and because of the tools that music producers or vocalists and musicians have nowadays that's the plus side of there being this access when people like andrew do take it seriously they 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 make the most of their lives and their careers. But thank you for, for watching this review of Peach Soda. Hopefully you enjoyed it. I know I talked a fair bit, but I kind of need to as part of my job. And I had a fair amount to say about it. Really colorful, gorgeous piece of music. Please do check out Andrew Carlson's uh, various social medias and SoundCloud. Stay cool, stay safe, and please also remember to support your local musicians and artists at this point in time. As you need the hell more than ever with all the crazy stuff going on. I'll catch you in the next review. Oh, I'll catch you in next review. There are both my fingers <laughs> in the camera. Spider hands up.